Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Robbie Randall, and today I'm going to show you how easy Intuit Link is to use as a taxpayer. Now, with this scenario, my tax pro has already sent me the request to use Intuit Link. I'm going to log into my Gmail account and then take it from there. So let's get started. All right, I'm inside of Gmail. As you can see, my tax pro has invited me via email. I'm going to go ahead and open up that email. I want to review the email, of course, and then click on Accept. Okay, at this point, it takes me to the Intuit Link sign-in page. One thing to note, if this is your first time using Intuit Link, you will need to create a password. Now, as you can see, I have already logged in using Intuit Link, so I'm just going to put in my email address and password and click Sign In. All right, here we go. As you can see, you log into a very clean dashboard. You get a wonderful welcome message there at the top, and then right below you can see I am in tax year 2018. This is where I would start to work top to bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the engagement letter that I received from my tax professional, read over that, make sure everything's in line, and then simply scroll down to the bottom and sign that document. Now for my tax pro, this does date stamp that signature, which is super useful. And let me go ahead and click done here. And as you can see, the engagement letter, green check, I know I'm done. I'm gonna move on next with the questionnaire. Now, if you've ever received an organizer from your tax professional, think of this questionnaire as the organizer. I just want to go in, answer these questions. Did you buy or sell stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or other investment properties? Yes or no? I'm going to say yes. And if I am interested, I can go in and click comments and say, hey, pro, here's the details and things that you should know. Put those comments in there. My tax professional can go in and read those comments and then reply to me. I am notified if, if and when they do reply. Let me go ahead and scroll down here and just show you another one. Were there any changes in dependents for me and my wife this year? I'm going to go ahead and click no. And as you can see, I just want to go right on down that list and knock that out. Now when I'm done, I come to the bottom and click done. And you'll see over on the right, there's a kind of a checklist or a, or a meter that lets me know, hey, I've answered two out of 13 questions. So I know I've got a little ways to go on that. The next section down is the document checklist. I'm just going to click on that. And you'll notice these are the documents that my tax pro is requesting from me. In this scenario, they're asking me for a W-2. I can simply click on share document, upload that W-2 from my computer, upload it to Link. It saves in Link. My tax pro is notified, which is a very easy and very quick way of doing that. Now, through Intuit, I do have the option of allowing Intuit to go out and grab that W-2 for me. That's where I would click Get It For Me. And just like in other technology that we have here at Intuit, you're going to put in very basic information. We're going to go out and grab that W-2 from your employer. Very easy to do. Now, if you are using Intuit Link on your mobile phone, let's say you have an iPhone or a Droid, Android, and you open this up on your mobile phone using the web browser in your phone, you can also take a picture of the document and upload it that way. Very easy to do. It uploads quickly, and again, you're on your way. Let me go ahead and close this out here. Let's say I had a job last year, and it's asking for a W-2 from job A. I'm now at job B. Well, in that scenario, I would just click does not apply. Very easy to do. And of course, when I'm done, I just click done, and it takes me back to the original screen, and here we are. Now there's a new section down at the bottom called Shared Documents. I can click here for review. These are a list of all of the documents that my tax professional has shared with me for this tax season. So I can come in here and take a look at maybe invoices, um, PDFs, whatever the case is. Here's a section for us to collaborate in that way as well. Let me go ahead and click back and there you go. Thank you for watching this brief summary of Intuit Link. I do hope it answered a lot of the questions that you may have, and thank you for being a valued customer.